UW360 is proudly supported by Pacific Office Automation, Copy, Print, Workflow, and IT, Problem Solved. This is a story about unfinished business. It starts, for me, where my collegiate career ended, commencement 2013. That's me receiving my master's degree in digital media from the School of Communication. Here's a selfie of me with the director of the program. But this really isn't a story about me, well, just a little, but we'll get to that later. It's mostly about Dubs, the University of Washington's mascot. Good boy. You coming to say hi? Jennifer McBride is Dubs owner. Sometimes people don't pay attention and he's just he doesn't care. He's just happy, you know, and wants to say hi to people. She's owned Dubs for 5 years since 2009 in 2008. She remembers that year that we didn't have a mascot. The football team went 0 and 12 that year. Dubs his first year, the record improved greatly. Jennifer and her partner were chosen from a big field of applicants to take care of the mascot. She says Dubs is a friendly dog who gets along with just about everybody, even the cat back home. That's partly because Dubs is actually not a husky. He's an Alaskan Malamute, a friendlier breed. Still, Dubs has what McBride calls a strong prey drive. Being raised with cats, he learned um, to get along with them and not to chase them, that they're friends, not food. Being the owner of a high-profile dog like Dubs also comes with responsibility. Hi. Yes. Yeah. And that's where these UW students come in. Several times a week, University of Washington students take Dubs for a walk to learn how to work with him. The walk is where students learn and Dubs really shines. And he really doesn't do that much. He lets people pet him and take pictures. Jennifer says even when he was a puppy, Dubs was a bit of a, well, camera hound. Do you want to take a picture? Yeah, sure. <laughs> but that's one reason why Dubs has become so popular. Jennifer tells me the UW Office of Ceremonies requested that Dubs be a part of this year's commencement. Jennifer agreed and suggested that Dubs walk in the ceremony. This was the first year the mascot walked across the stage with two of his graduating student handlers. And so I guess if you walk across the stage, you, it means you have a degree. <laughs> Somebody actually put up a sign in the university bookstore calling Dubs an honorary holder of a dog turret. But he never actually got a sheepskin, just a little bit more respect. Dog. Big dog on campus, cool. Jennifer McBride actually started a blog the day after she brought Dubs home. She posted pictures as Dubs grew up. It allowed people to really get to know him and connect with him. Now the image is all over. Dubs has become, well, a big dog on campus. Still, it's really funny to walk to my office every day and walk past these huge images of Dubs. I just think that it's nice for people to know that he's just a regular dog. A regular dog with a fan page and a blog who gets a smile from just about everyone who crosses his path. So a lot of people, they don't necessarily ever meet him in person, and there are people from all over the country who aren't even really connected to the University of Washington at all, and they'll make comments like, oh, I wasn't a UW fan, but now I am, because I love this dog. And Jennifer McBride says you can credit social media for that. Because everybody has a camera with them all the time. He's had his picture taken so many times, and I think it's even on a list of things to do before you graduate, get your picture taken with dubs. Which gets us back to that unfinished business. I spent a couple of days with Jennifer, the handlers, and of course dubs to shoot this story. But before I could finish, there was just one thing left to do on my list. Come on dubs, the selfie. There, done. For 360, I'm John Yeager, UWTV.